Goodbye, run 15. It was a good run. And our rival can actually be named... Uh, let's call it... Uh, let's see. What did we lose to there? We lost to our rival, but like, what really made us lose, you know? Like, it was Electivire. We're going to name him Fist. We're going to name him Fisto. So we lost to his Electivire's Fists. Chad, do you think this run we should do daytime encounters? We haven't actually done daytime encounters at any point here. Okay, well, the important IVs are good. <laughs> Ish. Uh, the attack and speed are usable. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so different. We've never played this game during daytime. <laughs> Wait, these encounters kind of suck. Maybe we should stay the nighttime encounters. Interesting. So it's just a normal Rattata this time? I feel like this is worse. <laughs> um... Catch. Why is it so good? Okay, hold on, hold on. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Okay. It doesn't count. I'll count it on the whiteout counter, but I'm not restarting this run. <laughs> but I will add it to the whiteout counter. <laughs> That's the offer I have. Technically, it was a whiteout. All right. Brand new run, everybody. Brand new run. Why is it another... Fucking, actually, this is the shock. No, we're restarting the run. We actually have to restart the run. Because we already used all our Pokeballs. It's, uh, hold on, hold on. This is fine. This is fine. Watch, watch, watch. We're going to keep it all the same. No, we're keeping it all the same. Don't worry. We're keeping it all the same. Okay, that didn't count. Surely our IVs aren't dog shit, right? I mean, it's honestly not bad. That's fine. Oh, this one stays in the ball. This one stays in the ball. It's fine. Ooh, we got a starter. Wow, it's actually kind of helpful. I mean, it's a water type, but it's at least a, you know, a decent one. All right, Brock, we are going to protect to see what it's going for. I don't even, I just skipped past it, but we're just going to basically one-shot it. We just take all the damage here. That way we can swap into Sobble to one-shot. Bang. Aqua Jet. Water Pulse, done. GG. Easy clap. All right, Brock's out of the way. Are you still enjoying this lock? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, it is a little tilting. I can't lie. I mean, it's, you know, losing runs is not fun, <laughs> but making progress does feel good. So when I actually make progress, I like losing that last run, as much as it sucked, like I didn't feel as like tilted because we had made so much progress and had super clutched against Giovanni. So like, I was like, it's fine, you know, it's whatever. So like, you know, when I make progress, it's good. When I lose runs early, especially because of stuff that's like mostly out of my control, it's kind of lame. Like the IVs I can work around. It's just when the encounters are just really bad when it's just like, dude. Yeah, like I can fix the IVs, but like it would require me to have like infinite money in this game, which is just not, I mean, I think there's a way you can do that, but it seems kind of cheesy. All this Pokemon has chat is last resort and protect. So a, any ghost type Pokemon just immediately solos it. And now we just magnitude and kill. Very clean battle. And let's get this encounter. We, there's two encounters we get here. There's one from, <gasps> yes. Okay. This is a great encounter. I just hope it has good IVs. Please have good IVs. Oh my God, please. Um, This is Doge. Let's see. This will be Doge Loaf. Please, please, please have good IVs. At least good speed. Why? 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 The two that I need! The two that I need are bad! The two IVs that I need to be good are bad! Of course, we always name these The Run because this is The Run. Once we get the Chin Chow, it's guaranteed that we win. This is The Run V... How many times has it been? Nine? <laughs> Why was it guaranteed? Uh, be, well, originally it was because we needed a Pokemon that could help with Surge and it had Volt Absorb, which was very helpful. So I was like, this is the run the first time I got it. And then we lost like eight more times. <laughs> so it, it's a long standing tradition. Yeah. And then fake out for free damage. We go Mega Drain and we basically solo the rest of this. This is why I was so stoked about this Ludicolo, because it is just going to... Yeah, I mean, you can just solo that with Ludicolo if you really want to. It's so nice. In hindsight, I should be doing this encounter before I do the fishing on round 11. Holy shit, I can get a Wimpod. Wait, it's actually big. Wait, what? 
actually not horrible IVs. Decent speed. Defensively, it's bad, but decent speed and attacking stuff. It's good. Here we go, boys. We've beaten Surge before. We just need to play smart. There's no way this thing can one-shot us. So, unless it got some, like, crazy crit, and even then, I don't even know. It raises a special or defense here, but that's fine. We go Swords Dance. We are faster, which is good. Does it Volt Switch? It goes for Discharge. Okay. Citrus Berry kicks in. We now have a Swords Dance active. So, we don't have to go for Sucker Punch here because we are faster. We are instead going to go for Crunch. That did half. That was after a defense boost. We kill it here. Now comes in Bolton. It's going to try to outspeed. This is why we have Sucker Punch. Big damage with Sucker Punch after a Swords Dance. Almost one shot. That was actually good. I think we just Mirror B fake out and kill it. Okay, they're switching out. Pretty smart play, actually. I don't know what it's going to go for, but I imagine because they specifically switch into Vika Volt, they're probably going for a bug move which I can't really switch anything into, except for maybe Tony. I think we just sack Ludicolo here, unfortunately, and do some chip damage. Oh, wait, we're faster. Holy shit, we're nuts. So here comes the bug buzz. This probably one shots, unless we're cracked. Okay, that's fine. Now comes the question of how do I want to actually kill this thing? Doge Loaf, because of the berry, probably won't one shot with Fire Fang but it's kind of the only option we have. So we're just gonna have to go for it. Need some big damage here, even with the berry. If this kills, that'd be huge. Okay, not even close. It goes for Roost though, which is super good for us. The fact that it went for that instead of attacking is big. Cause now the berry's gone, this should do big damage. God, our attack IV is so fucking bad. Okay, this is fine. We're gonna run it out of Roosts. And we got a burn on it, which is big. Nice, okay, free kill. So if it goes Flame Burst or Volt Switch, either one doesn't really matter here because the run can take both of them. Okay, so now it's gonna go for Hidden Power Grass or it's just gonna switch out, I don't know. But I don't wanna get hit by that. And remember that I have two Pokemon that can switch into a Charge Beam safely. So if I can pull off this Dig and live, then Dig plus Sucker Punch should be enough to kill Manectrike. Bang. Big fucking brain, dude. Raichu comes in next. Let me double check. What do I want to do here? Do I want to go Sucker Punch? Immediate damage. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful! Yes! And now it's just a bolt. Wait, it's over. GG. Wait, we won. Wait, we actually won. Holy shit, we're nuts. This thing has to attack. It has to attack. Has to attack. We Sucker Punch and win. Oh my fucking god. Greatest Pokemon player of all time. Literally greatest Pokemon player of all time. Holy shit, dude. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. That was such a good surge fight, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Umbreon just goes so huge there. Again, Erica is a very tough battle, but it, with certain encounters, we can make it a lot easier. And the fact that we have a couple of birds makes that a little easier. All right, please give me a Scyther. Please give me a Scyther. dude no dude no dude why is its hidden ability truant chat this is our moment this is our time this is what we've been training for dude this is dub time all right rillaboom comes out and now you will see the fruit of my labor okay interestingly enough this thing has nothing that can really hurt me so we go for dragon dance it goes for drain punch which is fine, it does nothing. We go Dragon Dance here. We go Dragon Dance again, because he stayed in, which is hilarious. Drain Punches again, hilarious. Potentially going to be able to just win right here. Legitimately, I don't know why he's staying in. This is hilarious. We are gonna be plus four speed and attack here. Okay, we're plus four. I don't wanna take another hit. We just spam Dual Wing now. And maybe just beat this entirely. Oh my god, no, there's, there's no way. You're not gonna be fast enough, Shitter. You're not fast enough, Shitter. Not this time, oh my god. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god, I can't believe they are throwing this bad. 
the fact that the Rillaboom stayed in to let me set up is the stupidest thing I've ever seen from this AI, ever. Go ahead and Mega Evolve, dude. It doesn't matter. I'm going to two-shot you. Or one-shot with Dual Wing Beat. It's over, dude. It's over, dude. It's actually over. It. I can't believe all that prep just for the Rillaboom to throw. Just throw, turn one, turn two, turn three. That's crazy. That is actually insane. Now, here's the thing. Technically, I might not kill this Meganium solely because the defensive boost plus triage. However, the only way it outspeeds me here is if it uses Giga Drain. And Giga Drain is quad resisted by this Pokemon. So we don't one shot, which means ancient power probably kills us here, which is fine. We've taken care of, this is fine. Oh, we've done our job and then some. Oh, it feels so good to beat Erica this way, dude. After how much bullshit I've had to deal with during these Erica fights, so happy to just clap her like this. And now we know the AI with Rillaboom, stupid as shit. Uh, now we attempt to reflame. Oh my God, we actually outspeed. We're gonna die with Cinder Ace any or uh, um, Cinder anyways, but like I'd even have to use half of my strats. Cause now check it out. This was the strat I was gonna do for like half of the Pokemon in here. I was gonna send this guy in and I was gonna use this move that has priority and is super strong. I was just gonna do this, but I didn't have to do that until now. And even then it didn't even matter. <laughs> oh my God, shit on dude. Oh, we have learned, see chat. This is a moment of understanding, okay? This shows you how much we have learned, okay? We used to get stuck on Surge. Now we have ascended, okay? Erica is now consistently beatable for us. This is massive, massive progress. Oh my goodness. That feels good, man. Oh, that feels good. And now I don't have to be tilted tomorrow. <laughs> now chat, the reason that that victory being dominant is so important is because we hardly get any encounters between now and uh, like the next gym being beaten, which is why the team building is so crucial during this stage of the game. So Sheer Force Nido Queen, Nido King explains why Sludge Bomb was so insanely strong. Uh, when we went against him. The fact that this thing has super luck plus scope lens is insane and is also crazy that we clutched against it and it went for heat wave on our Gyarados last time. We need to make sure that we don't have to rely on that because hello, I'll even let you guys watch the beginning here and see that it's not tweaking out anymore. Look at this. Oh my God, there's no Gengar clipping at the top of the screen. Oh, look at that. The graphics are playing like they're supposed to. No Gengar feet at the top of the screen. Isn't that crazy? Watch this shit. Amnesia goes off. Oh my God, the stat boost doesn't take up the whole fucking screen anymore, dude. Insane. You can thief nuggets from Meowth on Route 5. Is that for real? Wait, do they all have nuggets? Wait, is this just busted? Oh my God. Wait, they all have nuggets, dude, wait. Oh my God, this is the play, dude. Oh, this is the play, dude, yes. Oh my God, this is gonna be so helpful. Dude, okay, so we can finally make it so money isn't a fucking problem in this game anymore. Oh, that's so nice. Good shout, dude. Okay, it looks like Gumi won the poll. So we're getting Gumi. Three people voted on it. Sorry, 3,000 people voted Gumi. That's crazy. 3,000 people. Isn't that wild? Wide line. This is what I needed. Okay, I'm glad that we got that because that is what we give to Blaziken to guarantee that our um, high jump kicks are going to hit because the wide lens boosts accuracy of moves. So now high jump kick, which normally has 90 accuracy, now has the buff from wide lens. So now we don't have to worry about it missing. Now if it misses, we just get to be checked about it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if high jump kick misses, we are pissed. All right, Giovanni, I'm gonna sit on the couch with you, man. For this fight, we do not outspeed the first Pokemon. So I am very curious if the Nido King will actually go for 
earth power or if he switches, knowing that I could actually clap him here. Let's see what happens. Okay, he does go for earth power. Our berry kicks in. Should be totally fine here after the Shuka Berry. Psychic should one shot. Bang. Excellent. Great start. Kangaskhan, our plan for that is to use Blaziken. If I switch in Blaziken here, it would have to eat a hit, which I don't really want to have to do. So I think, and Gyarados can't intimidate it because it has inner focus. So I can't lower its attack with Gyarados because it's going to mega evolve immediately and then probably go for, I would assume, fake out. Okay, I think the best play here, because our defense is so high with the sprint, this is the better play. We have a very high defensive stat, and first impression can do a ton of damage here. If we lose Galissapod here, it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, it went for Body Slam. Okay. There's the Paralysis. So that's why we wanted to avoid putting in Blaziken there. Because now we just go first impression, get some big damage in here. Power Up Punch is not really an issue here. It boosting its attack doesn't matter because it's not boosting its speed. We switch out anyways after we get down below 50%. So we're going to go Sucker Punch. Good damage. This is probably going to kill us because it's raised its attack twice. There we go. That's fine. Because now we can switch in and we can kill it with basically anything we have. We win these. Check this out. High jump kick. Bang. Dead. This would have killed at full health regardless. But now it's safely out of the way. The scariest Pokemon that he has out of the way. Haunch Crow is annoying. We do not, I don't think we outspeed this, but this is why we have our Doge Loaf. It is likely going for a flying attack here, I would imagine. So because it doesn't have Nasty Plot, we can go for Detect here and see what move it's going for, which is Drill Peck. Okay, what I would like to do is safely switch in Doge Loaf, because it can eat a Drill Peck. It's, it resists it, and then we can kill it with Thunder Fang in one shot. Um, here we go. Eat the drill peck. Obviously, having a critical hit hurts, but we outspeed here. Bang. Ooh, I forgot about Sucker Punch. Okay, that's fine. I believe it's Dragon Dance time. So then it comes down to, do I want to send in a safe, safely switched in Sashimi who could maybe set up a Rain Dance? This is going to hurt. I mean, it's, regardless, this is going to hurt. It probably kills us, but I just want to see if I can pull it off. I want to see if maybe we survive one of these. No, okay, that's fine. This is going to give us some information. Our speed stat is just three higher on Gyarados than it is on Blaziken. So if we outspeed with Dragon Dance here, then that gives us info that Blaziken could also outspeed. We do not outspeed, so that's... This was a good choice. Okay. The problem is it has fucking Sucker Punch, dude. It has Sucker Punch. And if it goes for Sucker Punch here, it's cringe. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. Okay. We should be in the clear. If it went for Sucker Punch there, I would have been really annoyed. <laughs> we outspeed from the Dragon Dance. Um, we don't need Gyarados anymore at this point, so we can just use this to break the Sash. Bring it down to 1 HP for Cinder to come in and finish off. This was a very close one, though. This was very close. If that if that Haunch Crow went for Sucker Punch, we were we weren't totally dead yet, but I mean we were basically dead. And I could have played better too. I mean I could have played a little better than I did. So wonder what his Sylph team is like. Yeah, we haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know. But I'm imagining it's gonna be changed up quite a bit for that fight. Okay, and now we just high jump kick and we win. Because this cannot one shot. GG, dude. GG. Now we have to prep for this stupid fucking rival fight in Sylphco. This is the last fight that we can use like information for because this is a fight that we've already tried once. It's a bit of a hassle. We'll put it that way. Uh, the Staraptor is annoying, but not a crazy big issue. It does have Intimidate, so we'll probably want a special attacker to deal with Staraptor. Electivire is what killed us last time, and it looks like it doesn't actually have the right move here. Um, this Electivire has a move called, like, something Fists, uh, and I'm not really sure this does not actually have that updated. All right, we have our strat. We know what we're doing. We just need to play smart. It's revenge time, dude. Last time we went in blind. This time we're prepared. We know we outspeed here. Intimidate doesn't matter. 
because we're just going to Thunderbolt anyways. Okay, there's the switch out. Electivire comes in. This is free damage on Electivire. Oh, big damage. Big damage. Okay, that's actually huge. Um, now we can Volt switch out. It's, I don't know what it's going to go for. I mean, we can just switch into Tony here because it's not going to go for Ice Punch. Easy reads. Easy reads, shitter. Okay, now we have to think. Fuck it. No, we're just going Earthquake. Who cares? Easy. Okay, Star Raptor comes back in. This is such an easy switch. Okay, so all it has here is Brave Bird or U-Turn for Tony. It can't hit it with close combat. Honestly, Tony's done its job. We could literally just stay in and go for a Mega Punch or like take the hit. We needed him for Electivire. He took care of Electivire. Now we have an interesting choice because Electivire is out, which means Gyarados could come in here and start setting up Dragon Dance. I know Jolteon gets a free kill here, as does Dojla. I mean, pretty much any of our Pokemon here get a free kill here, but we could make this fight so easy. Let me think. I want to see what happens here. So Brave Bird comes in. How much does this do after Intimidate? Okay, too much. It does too much. That's that's too much damage. <laughs> that is too much damage. Okay. Uh, we don't outspeed, I don't think, after one Dragon Dance. So, ooh, this is actually weird now. This is a little weird now. I think we go Jolteon here because it's already done its job. So like if it dies, it dies kind of a thing, but I don't, it shouldn't die unless it's like a crit. And it was a crit. Okay, cool game. Very cool video game. Very cool video game that we have here. Wow. Well, we outspeed here, so whatever. That is incredibly cringe, though. And that is why we sent in Jolteon, because it was the more expendable Pokemon. But that is, like, Omega cringe. All right, Darmanitan is an issue. We need to be able to get our Inteleon in safely here without losing Doge Loaf. I think we just go Gyarados here. We get the Intimidate off, lowering that attack stat. Okay, good. It did go for Earthquake. That's actually really good for us. It's going to go for Rock Slide this turn. We're just going to hope that maybe we get an Aqua Tail off. This is also, like, whatever. Gyarados was here to intimidate it. Pog! Gyarados is so clutch! Oh my god, Gyarados is such a beast. Wow! Gyarados, you're so, so clutch, dude. Oh my god. What a play! Okay, this is fine. We just, we just let Gyarados die. Gyarados did work. Oh my god, dude. Okay. That makes our life a lot easier. Uh, Doge Loaf comes in. I have Ice Fang, right? We click Ice Fang and we kill it. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. What a play. What a play, dude. Gyarados is so good, dude. Oh my God. Okay, Blastoise comes in last. We just click Fire or Thunder Fang until we die. That's the play here. So close. And this doesn't even kill us, I don't think. Does this kill? The play, dude. The play. Does Doge Loaf clutch? And it does! <laughs> Easy. The crit mattered. Crit mattered. Crit mattered. Oh my god. What a play. We got past the rival fight, boys. Officially. A new PB. Oh, that's big. That is so big, dude. Oh. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good.